good evening guys and today we're going to be doing a review on this Selmer Paris Reference 54 Alto. As usual stay tuned and let's get at it. Hey guys, Ben here. Today we're doing a review on the Selmer Paris Reference 54 Alto. Now this is what you're going to see when you first open the case, and note that this is not the case that come with it. This is some cheap case I got on Amazon. The case that actually come with it is a contoured hard case, uh, and it actually got broke during shipping, and the place I got it from, which we're not going to mention any names to tarnish any reputation or anything, but they said that there was nothing they could do to replace it, kind of frustrating but so I went out and I got a cheap saxophone case off Amazon for it just something to get by until I can get a really good case let's take a look at what you get now the first thing you get in the little goodie pouch is a cleaning cloth You also get a Selmer Standard mouthpiece. I don't know if you can see the chamber or anything on it. Pretty good mouthpiece. I got this little pamphlet that come with it. I got a whole bunch of stuff in my little pouch. Let's take a look at the actual horn. Let's start with the neck. Brand new cork. Obviously, you would hope. You've got engravings down the neck. The Selmer Paris logo. Or the Selmer stamp. Now you can't really see it really well. There you go. Now it's focused. Engravings on both sides of the neck. Now I've played through this horn already. In a concert and everything. So let's take a look at the alto itself. I bought this little pad saver. It didn't come with it, but I bought it. You got engravings all up and down the saxophone. I wish it would focus. Very intricately done. A very beautiful horn. This is what this is it straight out of the box, pretty much. Now I've only played on it a little bit, haven't played on it too much. But this is what you're gonna get. Like I said, it did come with a mouthpiece cap, but I have my own mouthpiece and reed and everything. So as you can see, a pretty nice looking saxophone. Let's hear how it plays. So as you can see, it sounds pretty good. I'm not going to complain about it one bit. I'll play a scale for you. on it is really good it doesn't click 
It's really quiet. There's not a whole bunch of sticky pads. Now it comes corked, which obviously is a pain in the rear. The keys come corked so they don't get bent or anything during transportation. But other than other than the pain of uncorking it, I'm completely happy with it. Now I'm not playing on the mouthpiece it come with. I'm playing on my own setup. I didn't really like the mouthpiece that come with it. I'm not a big fan of Selmer mouthpieces. Uh, it's a good mouthpiece, don't get me wrong, for somebody, just not me. So, all in all, this horn does pretty good. I'll let you hear it one more time. <laughs> solid tone out of it like I said the action is so super sweet it, it's not clicky it doesn't have that sound to it all in all I would give it five out of five stars I'm I would still rather have a Yamaha but this will do until I can get one now I paid about three grand for this horn and I got it at a shop in St. Louis. Now, the reason I got it so cheap, and these are $7,000 horns, the reason I got it so cheap is because the serial number's all messed up on it. This is a reference 54 Alto, and this serial number says Super Action 80 something. I think it's a 2. Um, so, yeah, Super Action 80 number 2. So, or Series 2 or something like that. So, I got it really cheap because this is a defect. Now, I got it brand new. And like I said, the case that come with it broke during shipping. I put a hole in it about that big. Uh, there was a hole in the box, a hole in the case. You could see straight through to the Alto. I don't know how it didn't damage the Alto. But it, it miraculously didn't. So, that being said... Um, I wouldn't necessarily rate the shop I got it at with a too good of a rating. Because they didn't really package it very well, but we're focusing on the saxophone. So like I said, I got a different case with it. Uh, I got it, I, I got it, um, on Amazon. Just a cheap $20 case, something to hold it over until I could actually afford something a little bit more expensive. So... Some of the features I like about it is obviously the engraving and the gold bell. Uh, that that really nicely accents it instead of it just being completely black. Uh, the gold bell accents it and the engravings are quite nice. They're not needed to play, but it makes the horn look pretty. The other thing I, I one thing I don't like is your lyre holder right here where you put a lyre to hold your music, it's right in the way of this neck. Um, I've never liked them right here. I've always liked them kind of off to the side. Not a big deal, because I don't use liars. But if somebody was, for some odd reason, a student was to purchase this horn and use it for band, then they may or may not have trouble with their neck, depending on how the neck is turned, how they play, and all that good junk. It come well corked. Uh, it doesn't need to be recorked at all. And I didn't have to have it tuned straight out of the box. Uh, straight out of the box, everything played. It was really good. Um, yeah, it, it didn't need to go to a repair technician at all. The Everything was good. I looked it over, everything was good, didn't need to go to a repair technician to, to be tuned up or anything, so it worked quite well. So that's going to conclude this review on this Selmer Paris Reference 54 Alto. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope you see 
see something you like in this horn, and I hope you go out and purchase one if you can afford one. Um, they are really good horns. I know some people are not a fan of the reference series, but they're really good horns. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoy. Have a good rest of your day, guys. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, check out our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page. Uh, we're growing every day. There's new videos posted almost every day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good rest of your day.